And welcome back. As you saw in the previous video, we've started charging these cells. And uh, as I described earlier, we're going to charge each cell individually, get them up to the same level. We'll put them all in parallel at that point, let them set that way for a little while, run another charging cycle with them hooked in parallel. Once we're comfortable with that, then we'll break them back apart and start turning them into our series banks. But uh, as you can see, we're dealing with a pair of batteries, so we are wearing a pair of gloves. Uh, we are wearing uh, safety glasses. Uh, again, I said this before and I'll say it again. Uh, when it comes to original OEM equipment issued to yourself, you only get one set. And it's extremely difficult to uh, replace it uh, should something bad happen. You're dealing with lithium batteries. You're dealing with batteries that can deliver a substantial amount of discharge current in a short amount of time. Always take proper safety precautions. Uh, you can see the tool that we're dealing with today was a little bit of a 10 millimeter wrench. We've got a nice wrapped up in tape, electrical tape, except for the end that we're going to use. And what you can see here, what we have going on on the bench, is we've got two iCharger X8s uh, that we're going through each cell and kind of moving our way down the first bank of 16 uh, to get everything charged up. Now you'll notice this little bit of a wood assembly here. Um, I saw Lithium Solar uh, do this and I thought it was an excellent ideal. This is not to apply pressure to the batteries. This is mainly just to kind of hold the batteries in place. You can see I can move this battery with my hand. So there is play in here. But this is just to control any expansion that may happen in the cells while they're being charged. Once they have been charged, and we put them in, a, in the series bank that they will be in, then we'll get something in here, uh, a little bit more permanent of a structure, and we will apply a little bit of pressure uh, to these batteries. But again, it's just some, for now, it's just some scrap pieces of two by four that we had laying around. Uh, some boards here in the end, which cover the entire surface of the battery. And the 2x4s itself are stood up on these little blocks, just so it's not resting on the bench. And again, it's just here to help control any expansion that may happen of these cells, again, while they're being charged. But as you can see, we've got our two eye chargers cranking away, and we're on to batteries, we want to see, one, two, three, four, and five. We're up to three batteries that have been charged. Battery number four is uh, well on its way, which you can kind of see there. Hopefully that comes in okay. Charging about 23 amps out of 30. And I'm not bringing these to a full 3.65, at least not yet. I've got the eye charger set to stop at about 3.5, just to give us a little bit of extra room. But one thing I wanted to show you in these videos is that you can see down here we've got our uh, studs installed or uh, Allen set screws or grub screws, uh, many names for the same part, many purposes as well. And you can see that we've got our eye charger attached. So we've got our positive and our negative as well as our sense leads. And that is this charger right here. One thing I wanted to show you here is that we're going to go into the lithium iron phosphate charge. Yes, we want to run that program. And chargers ramping up. Now we have the charger set to 30 amps, which is his max charge setting. These cells are not fully charged when they're shipped, but you'll notice we're only getting about three. It may slowly ramp up here to four, somewhere around in there. But um, we're not getting our full 30 amps of charge current. Now, the batteries aren't near top end charge because our sense voltage is only 3.3. Now, granted, voltage is not a good indicator of charge, but if these batteries were topped end are already close to completing on charge, then when I started this charging cycle, this should have gone up uh, much, much more rapidly uh, than what it is. So we're at a low state of charge, but we're not getting our 30 amps. As you can see here, we're only pushing maybe four. Now, I'm going to squeeze this clamp 
a little bit tighter than what it is. And watch what this screen does. Four, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4. As you can see, we're increasing the amount of current. Now you'll notice on some of these batteries, this battery here that's being charged, what we've done, we've actually attached the bus bars that came with the battery, put the bus bars off the side and, and attached our clips. So this gives us a much, much better surface. Basically more grip on that clamp that you can see. Much, much more efficient current flow. Because we've got a more secure connection here, we can flow more current across this connection. And, and I show you what will happen. You'll notice again, we'll come back to this one. That's one we just started, only 4.4 amps. I'm going to stop the camera and get some bus bars installed onto this battery, and then we'll bring you back. Okay, we've got our bus bars installed on that same battery, battery number 12. You can see again, just like at battery number 13 here, the one before it. Our clamps have a much, much more secure surface to clamp to. I did not torque, the, in full defense, I did not torque these nuts down all the way to factory specs. Uh, I just snugged them down enough to where you got a nice, firm, secure connection on each terminal. Now we're going to come back here, and we're going to restart our charger. Same settings as before. Lithium iron phosphate, charge, yes. And now watch what happens to our amperage. 7, 8, 11. We're already up to 15, 17, 20, 24, 26, 27. And there you go. We just hit our max 30 amps that we have this charger set for. So this goes to show you whenever you're charging, discharging, any type of battery, any type of battery bank, uh, if you're seeing results that you don't expect and you know that they should be better like in this case i know this eye charger i've done a few of these batteries now i know what roughly the state of charge they were in when they were shipped but i wasn't seeing the amperage output of the charger or the battery consume what i expected it to consume so we did a little bit of investigation and realized that clamping those big clamps as they are on just this small surface wasn't enough and that's why we attach the bus bars again as you can see much better result so again as you're using these batteries if you see that something isn't right go back double triple check these connections make sure that they are secure because not only would it affect charging as you can see here but something like that could also greatly affect your discharging uh, there'll be a link in the description for another youtuber. You've seen his links on my channel before uh, For the off-grid garage and if you watch his earlier videos about his 280 amp hour cells You can see where he was having a, some of the same issues with his bus bars Where you could watch the voltage output of each cell in his BMS. You could see one that was a few you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 volts out from the rest of the cells in the pack. And then once he grabbed the terminal and tightened down on a little bit on it, you saw it come back in the spec and match the rest of the pack. So again, I'm not going to say it's just with these cells, with any cells you're dealing with. If you're seeing something that doesn't look right, double, triple check yourself. Because uh, the last thing that you want to do is, you know, lose some capacity in your cells and or cause quite a few other issues that can be caused by having uh, loose or inadequate connections. But we're going to let these batteries charge. Uh, once we get a few more charged up here, we'll get a four of these hooked up in series and we'll get a 12 volt load test set up. And once we get all that gear together, uh, we'll bring you back for another video. Until then, I uh, do appreciate you watching. We're almost up to 300 subscribers, which to be honest with you, I didn't think you, even 100 people would want to subscribe and watch any of these videos, but uh, apparently they are proving to be useful, and uh, thank you for taking the time to stop by and, and subscribing. 
and I'll talk to you later. Bye.